Here it is. 1984 Hitachi. Knob-tuned color TV. Made in October of 84. Fully restored. Now, I had this TV for about three or four months. I bought it at a flea market for like three dollars. And, uh, it worked. It worked very well. You might remember my video on it. I bought this along with a Sony DVD player, a Panasonic VCR, and a Magnavox converter box. Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> um, but anyways, so I had it up here for a while, and then, uh, um, I forget what happened. I think I got a VCR that could only fit up here, so I put that up here and put this in the basement. And recently I moved that VCR, and in the process I decided to bring this back up here. And before hooking it all up, I decided to do a full restoration of it. I've completely cleaned the cabinet and the inside. You can see it's looking all nice now. The top especially. The top is uh, really shiny. <laughs> and it looks flawless. I've cleaned the back too. There's no more dirt in the vents back there. I went inside and I applied WD-40 to the tuner knobs because they were a little dirty and also to the volume control because it was also kind of dirty so it would be scratchy. I also cleaned off everything so now it's all clean and shiny. I cleaned up the screen and while I had the unit apart, I also recalibrated the screen. I adjusted the focus and adjusted the colors to what looked good to me. And I think in the end it looks much, much better than it did before I made the adjustments. So yeah, now that it's all restored, I have it hooked up here. Um, basically, I have two TVs completely set up now. That all of the game systems, the DVD player, and the converter box go to this switch box. And then that goes out and it's split into these two VCRs, with one signal going to the Panasonic and another going to the RCA. The signal in the RCA goes out to the 1990 GE VCR, which then goes out to the Sharp TV. The Panasonic VCR's signal goes out to the Hitachi. And after doing those color and screen calibrations, I think it looks much, much better now than it did before. Um, the picture's a lot sharper, but it's not too sharp. Um, like, it's sharp enough that you can see small text on the screen, and the colors are really bright, and um, they just look great. It's not oversaturated, but it's not dull either. So if I turn it on here, it takes a few seconds to warm up. And it looks green at first, and then it gradually goes to a normal color. You can see, sorry about the scan lines and stuff on the screen, I can't do anything about that. It's the camera not agreeing with the TV's refresh rate or something like that. But uh, you can see that the picture looks really nice. Um, it's really sharp. As you can see, it looks very sharp. And it's very colorful. So this probably isn't a good channel to show that. And you can hear my dog barking in the background. There we go. Doesn't look as good on camera as it does on actual viewing. And those band lines that you see are also the camera. But yeah, the picture looks really sharp. Let's see if there's anything good on. You can see it's pretty sharp. It's a lot sharper than it was before, I can tell you that. And even though this thing only has RF inputs, I 
think it actually overall looks better than the Sharp TV, even though that has video inputs, which are supposed to be higher quality. This looks better overall. It's sharper, the color's better. Overall, it's much better. So yeah, now you can see the TV working with the converter box hooked up to it. Now I'm going to demonstrate a video game being played on this. Uh, looks like the Nintendo 64 is all hooked up and ready to go. So we'll switch the input. Turn it on. It's me, Mario. Mario 64. Hello. Hi, Mario. <laughs> Let's see where I put the controller. Oh, it's here on my bed. Yeah. Let's press start. Not sure how well I can play this with one hand. And again, the flickering and stuff's caused by the camera, and I can't do anything about it. There we go. Looks a bit better. But you can't really tell on camera, but the picture looks really nice. It's very clean, it's very clear. And this TV was probably aligned perfectly, because... There's no overscan. Everything is in the picture perfectly. On some of my other TVs when I play games, um, sometimes the statistics will be a little cut off. Like, that face might be cut off and the numbers might be cut off. But not on this TV. There's absolutely no overscan. Or at least very little. And let me turn the sound up. The speaker in this thing sounds really good. It's very punchy and stuff. Image is nice and warm as well. Colors are all very vibrant. So yeah, you, overall it looks pretty nice. We can go back to the TV if we want. I like the way it shuts off, that's really cool. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I know, I am easily amused. So yeah, that is the 1984 Hitachi. Knob-tuned color TV, made in Singapore in 1984, completely restored, as far as I'm concerned, to practically brand new condition. Sides are all shiny, everything's cleaned up, it looks as good as it did when it came out of the factory, and with the picture tube recalibrated, it looks even better than it did when it rolled out of the factory. So, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.